<laughs> testing this on auto settings. I'm testing the camera. It's recording. I am testing this on auto settings. You trying to like test the sound or something? No. I'm testing the sound. <laughs> Is that really recording now? Like you're gonna hear me say, "Oh, I'm yep." Oh, you're gonna hear you being a jackass. See how it is in the really dark bathroom. All right, when you're in really dark rooms, you gotta set it to manual setting. This is slightly lighter in here. You can kind of make out objects. Can you stop recording for a second? So small, it shakes a lot though. I'm seeing how it deals with lighting contrast and stuff. <laughs> and I see that dark wall right there. And then the light. It's on auto mode though, so. Hmm. How about here? Deals with lighting contrast decently. It's pretty bright here. Yeah. It adjust, adjusts to it pretty quickly. Oh, well, I can say that my camera phone wouldn't be able to see in there at all. Yeah, it's just a black screen looking in there. At least this camera can see in there. Let me see how a macro shot looks. Macro shot, like really close, how well it picks up small details. <sighs> Not bad. Glad you can play the video now. Not bad for a camera this small. See if I zoom in on it. Still pretty good. And I have digital zoom off because digital zoom sucks. Alright, I'm done. Alright, this video is being recorded all the same as before except electronic Im image stabilization is on. I'd also like to point out that I didn't mention the last time that everything I'm recording is in my highest quality setting. Now if you shake a lot, I can't really compensate for it. quality is a little less. That came free after buying the camera on Best Buy. Well, I didn't buy the camera. I got this as a gift.
unless it's absolutely necessary. I'll leave image stabilization off to keep the quality better, but it doesn't hurt the quality too much. And if you couldn't tell already, the microphone picks sound up very, very well. So far, I'm very pleased with this camera. This was my old bedroom, but I don't live here anymore. My brother's taking it over now. I have my stuff there temporarily. And just to see how small the camera is that you're looking out of right now. There you go. Note the size of my hand holding the camera compared to the actual size of the camera. It's very small. Of course you can't really get a side view with this. I messed around with the manual settings a little bit. You can't really get the dark much brighter, but this doesn't do horribly bad in the dark because I mean how often are you going to try to video in this little light? That modem's a piece of crap, don't buy it. You don't have too much control over the zoom speed. The buttons do seem to be a little bit pressure sensitive, but there's not much travel in the buttons, so you don't have much control over it. It's my brother's messy bed. Shut up! <laughs> the remote is there, I do not touch it. Huh. It's extremely low light in here. Our biggest light source is that candle. And any light that's coming from there and there. I've completely lost where I was because I'm zoomed into it. Uh, there we go. You can see it's very, pretty dark out there. The brightest thing is the snow.
again, much improved over my cell phone, which sees nothing right now except black screen and a slight speckle from those Christmas lights that are up down there. Depending on where you shop, you can get this camera from anywhere between $220 to $300. Yeah, I 